Prime time. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Flame Toys Fudai Model G1 Optimus Prime. So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some lovely, lovely artwork of Prime. Model kit, Optimus Prime, G1 version, Transformers. On the side of the box, we have Optimus Prime. On the other side, we just have more of uh, that picture. On the bottom, Optimus Prime. On the top, Optimus Prime. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Fudai Model Optimus Prime. And yes, this is another of Flame Toys model kits. You get a bunch of these, you cut out the parts, you snap it all together, and when it is all said and done, you end up with this lovely, Lovely figure right here. So without further ado, let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his abs, but at that noggin. You can see it's a very, very primey noggin. I mean, it does have transparent blue eyes, but they're not that easy to see because they're really deep into his head. <laughs> so yeah, you can't really see his eyes too well, but they are blue. Trust me, they're blue. Um, that's something you might want to actually paint if you want them to pop out a little bit more. But yeah, they're there. But all around, nicely done head sculpt. You can see the Autobot symbols there on the shoulders. Those are stickers. The only stickers you have on this kit are just the Autobot symbols and these little stickers right there for the lights above the windshields. Those are the only stickers that you get on this. You can see the nice transparent blue for the chest windshield. Of course his abs. Nice yellow there. On the crotchial region. On the forearms there. And as you can see, it's a very clean look here. It's going for that G1 look, that G1 cartoony look. With a little bit of, you know, a little, little stylized, but still going for that kind of cartoony look, very clean. Not a whole lot to it. His big old feet. Yes, sprue marks, I know. Get over it, I don't care. But anyway, <laughs> move up the back. Not a whole lot. Talk about here, the prime booty. And there you go. Now, articulation-wise, as always, these do have a lot of articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint right at the top of the neck, and the base of the neck, so you have two joints. Whoops. You could pop off his ears too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of articulation there, a lot of wiggly waggly. He can look up a good bit, can look down, Ed can do a full 360. All of that good stuff there. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out very far as you can see. You do have forward and a little bit of backward movement on that shoulder as well. Yeah, bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow, nice full range of movement there. The wrist can rotate where the wrist connect to is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly in there. As far as the waist, you do have a whole lot of ab crunch going on there. You can also arch his back if you need to. Uh, his abs, his grill abs are also on a ball joint there, so you can kind of move those up, kind of fill things in if you need to. Of course, you also have rotation as well. This is on a ball joint at the base. So again, you have all kinds of wiggly waggly going on, rotation, whatever you need it to do. Uh, these panels here can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement, as well as these panels here on the side. They can raise up. So legs can move forward that far, but you also have this hinge in here, which allows the hip to move forward. So you can get a little more range of movement there. You can move back that far outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, you have a double jointed knee, you have nice full range of movement there. And the feet, uh, you have a couple of joints to work with here on the feet. You actually have this little extension piece here, which, oops, is actually pretty stiff. So you just have to, there we go, you can just pull that down and you can see, so there's a joint up in there and then you have this joint here. So you can have the foot going up, going down. It's on a ball joint, so you have rotation, you have your tiltage if you need it, so you can kind of get those feet going in whatever, really whatever direction you want. And you also have a toe joint there as well. 
So now let's run through the accessories. Uh, you get four extra set of hands. Now the hands are on him right now are just the closed fists, but you do get a pair of pointing hands. You can go, yes, yes, yes. Or, you know, you can have uh, Prime heroically point as he tends to do, or you can just have him go, you know, watch out, radioactive man. You know, you can do that too. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. As you can see, the hands swap out very easily. Just on ball joints, just pop them off and pop them on. But yes, you get a pair of pointing hands. You get a pair of gun holding hands. You get a pair of just kind of clutchy grabby hands. And you also get a pair of the splayed out, as I like to call them, the no hands. You get a pair of those as well. And uh, you know what? We will give him his gun holding hand right now. So we can show off the next accessory, which is his gun right here. You can see just done in gray. But nice and g one looking, as it should be. And this just goes right into his hand like so. And he does hold it very securely. So we can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. And no, it is not Bluish compatible. Sorry. But you have that going on, which is cool. And you also do get his Energon Axe done in transclearance orange. Looks quite nice. And also you can just... Pop his hand off, and this will just pop right in. So there you go. You can pew pew slash slash, pew pew, hack hack. You can do all that good stuff. So hey, you got him all weaponed up and ready for battle. And another thing you can do is you can open up his chest right here. You can lift up this little panel, and you can see the matrix of leadership as you can see it's just molded in there just a little uh transparent blue piece in there for the center i get some nice detail in there and again if you want to pick this out with paint hey go nuts as always it's yours do what you want with it but yeah some nice detail going on there and just close that up boop boop there you go so he does have his matrix so he can light our darkest hours so there you have that and now for camp arras hunt here he is with his other Fudai model brethren. You know what? We'll bring in this one. So this is kind of Japanese anime prime. <laughs> and here we have the IDW prime. And there we have all three of the Fudai model primes. They look quite nice. I like them all. I like them all for different reasons. And with the Fudai model Bumblebee and Drift. With the Fudai model Megs and Screamer. And with the Fudai model Devastator, he's a little bit taller as you can see. And just for a general sense of the size of the figure, here he is with the Earthrise Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have the Fudai model Optimus Prime. And like I said, with all of these kits, um, I love them. I love them so much. You know, they're just, it's a fun build. It's a fun little project to pass the time. And when it's all said and done, you end up with a really cool looking, super posable figure. And um, absolutely love these, you know. And of course, as always, there are gonna be people who are like, boo, it doesn't transform. Well, here's what you do. You go buy one of the 15 million Optimus Primes that do transform. It's not like there's a shortage. You'll be fine. You'll find one somewhere, easily. But again, I love these kits, really cool. And as always, looking forward to what is coming down the line as far as these Fudai model kits go. I love them so much. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Have I mentioned I love them? I love them, but <laughs> there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Flame Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Food Eye Model playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out End Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Flame Toys Food Eye Model G1 Optimus Prime. And this is Emgo saying, remember, 
You don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big dick, be proud. Home in your face. Teletran 1, find me the nearest pizza bagel. Uh, hey Prime. Ah, Bumblebee. Oh, um, have you been working out? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for noticing. Yeah, you look good. You're looking all swole. Ah, uh, gee, thanks. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Ah, <gasps> uh, stop it now. What? Yeah, stop it. No one around here is allowed to look better than me, so, yeah, stop it. But... You have your orders!